hi guys welcome to my channel my name is bernice if you're a returning subscriber thanks for taking your time to watch this and if you're here for the first time you're very much welcome so today i'm going to be doing different rose cut design as you can see and if you'd like to know how i did this please stay tuned consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't you won't regret it because on this channel i give detailed explanation on how to make different personal design using gel and lots more if you haven't liked this video yet please go ahead and give it a thumbs up it helps out the channel and keeps me motivated to keep bringing you guys valuable content and it helps this video to go out to more people like you thanks so now i'm going to go in with my pink as my base color for this design for this particular nail then I'm going to go in with my light in no particular order, in a zigzag order. You don't want to go in straight. So you want to make it look so natural as possible. After that, I'm going to be using my A-stone to, to blend it out. So you're trying to give the nails cracks. You're trying to give it like, yeah, but the illusion we're trying to get is a stone illusion. So can you see what the A-stone is doing? is blending it out is like he's removing all those harsh harsh lines and just it's giving what it's supposed to give yeah then after that i'm going to go in with tiny tiny lines just to create some kind of cracks and detailing because all about the stone is detailing the details are so so important and this tiny tiny lines just it might look like mm, what's the difference what's it doing but it's actually doing a lot when you look closely into the nails the nails will look like it has cracks like <laughs> like thunders <laughs> but shall you guys get me like lightning struck it or something like that so that would be for this design this design is like the easiest rose cut design and you can actually use this method on any color it does not have to be pink and even when doing your rose cut, you can use different shades of pink, light pink, dark pink. And that's it. Going on to the next design, I'm going to be using a jelly, like a transparent pinkish color. It looks like clear, but it's not clear. It's actually pinkish and it's actually a builder gel. Then after that, I'm going to be taking my glitter and I'm going to be sprinkling my glitter in no particular order. I don't want it to look <laughs> i want it to look really really natural so i'm going to sprinkle my glitter different places at the end of this nose it's going to look like oh where did the glitter go to but when you turn the nail under you're going to see the glitter the sides are going to see the glitter it gave it its own kind of illusion then i'm going to go in with a very very light pink and i'm going to be just going in zigzag lines just trying to do like a marbling stuff it also get my a stone and alcohol and i blend it and like this a stone just helps with the whole marbling and can you see what's happening it just makes everything so beautiful so this is actually a marbling technique but you know the rose coat design actually <laughs> involves one. i'm going to take my silver and pink glitter and i'm going to take in my colorful paper foil that like they have like glitters in them i'm also going to be using silver and all shades of pink light pink deep pink and i'm going to be mixing everything together as you all know i love mixing <laughs> and it came out so so beautiful so this is what i'm going to be using then i go ahead and start applying it on the nails and i don't go in straight remember we don't go in straight we go in you can go in from the left to the right or from the right to the left but i don't go in straight and after applying oh my god this is so so beautiful hmm. then after applying this i'm going to be okay so actually guys for these nails i'm using <laughs> i'm using like four colors like a deep pink a whitish pink then white itself and the last one was my builder gel but it's not so then i'm going to be mixing my pink with my base coat just to create like a um a sheer pink like a jelly pink it's going to be transparent i'm going to see the effect so i'm going to be i'm going to layer that nails with this jelly pink to like to just cover it up but not really cover just to give it different dimension 
because they didn't do any covering because these glitters and foil paper they were sticking out so i still had to um encapsulate everything with my clear builder gel yeah but you, you guys are all going to see how everything comes out if you've gotten to this part of this video please don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share it thank you and i'm going to go in with my white line like white is so so important when doing bruce cuts like you can't take that away from the whole design you could use different colors different method but white mm, white is the most important then i'm going to be going with my a stone and alcohol and i'm going to be mixing this i'm just going to be blending it can you see what it's doing like i don't know if you guys are able to zoom you can see the effect it's bringing to the nails and I'm now I'm going to use my builder gel to encapsulate all the glitter, all the foil. Because the foil was actually sticking out and I really want everything laying flat on the nails. I don't want anything sticking out. So I had to use my builder gel to, you know. And this gave the nails, <laughs> this made the nails so thick and bulky so i'm still going to go in and shape it file it do all that yeah and i'm just adjusting it then after that i'm going to file it actually i could not file it on camera because i was not really so comfortable I had to remove the nails from this stand and everything but yeah here i'm done filing and i'm just going to be cleaning i'm going to be wiping it and after that i'm going to go in with the next step i'm going to take my whites again and just give it lines because uh, this has to be so so you have to look into the nails and see different dimensions see different lines see different cracks just you have to, you have to look into the nails and be confused like what's going on that's what i was trying to do and i really love this glitter and this foil paper it was giving like it was i don't know the vibe it was the vibe it was giving was like a stone that has different gemstones inside of it that has different <laughs> different diamond different <laughs> like, like a really expensive stone yeah so now i'm going to be going with another layer that light pink i mixed it with base coat just to make it sheer and jelly and i went with another layer to cover it so can you see the effect it did it kind of brought down those glitters because they were like too pink too and i really wanted them to look i really wanted it to give it the effect like oh it's inside the nails like so now i'm just going in with tiny pink lines just to give it crack because that place was like so white so uh, the pink lines i didn't make it so so much just to give it little little cracks you have to like zoom the nails to see very well i also went in with white lines because <laughs> i obviously can't do without the white lines and i like and you have to place the tiny lines in different places don't just you don't just go in straight you have to coil it <laughs> just stick it everywhere so this is the white lines and i really love what it did to the nails and yeah i was done with these nails mm, this nails is so so beautiful like, i love it it's my favorite <laughs> then i went with the third nails and i used the sheer pink color for this them but i didn't cure this news this one i did everything on it why while not dried then i took in a deep pink and i still did not cure it then after this deep pink i added another white and i still did not cure it <laughs> i just still did not put it in the lamp to dry i think it was after this yeah yeah i put it in the lamp to dry after this i wanted to blend it but i was like no 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 i'm going to blend like let me just give it this effect on that because i'm still going to do a lot of layer 
like layers on this bomb not so much like two or three layers so i was like okay then i went in and i blended the second lines i did and can you see what it's doing to the nails <laughs> i was actually getting too close to the camera so i feel like it was losing focus but yeah i went back but you can see what it's doing to the nails then i went with another line and i blended it again with my a stone i actually really really like this nail so much <laughs> like it has a lot of cracks a lot of colors a lot of things are just going in and i just kept on blending it yes and you can see what it's doing then after this i went in with another layer just to cover it up just to cover everything like a jelly pink can you see the effect of what i just did now everything looks <laughs> everything looks so beautiful so stone like <laughs> yeah then after that i went in with like my pink then i went in with red just to make the pink very very deep remember i'm just using like two pink colors and one white so basically i'm just using three colors and i decided to do this i was actually scared here i was like oh did i put too much and then i'm like oh no i didn't put too much so i decided to just blend that out and if you can see even though this color is really deep if you zoom this nose like look into it deeply you'll still see all those cracks inside all those stuff like this so that's why i'm using jelly colors like colors that are like clear kind of then i went on my white line here i was trying to create like two stones coming together that's why i did this um separation like the middle is a different stone than the other like the deeper colors like the different stone and they're coming together so that's why i added this white line like maybe like the joining of the two of them yeah so i kept on blending this and i don't know i felt like oh so it's not enough so i added another line on it again and then i was satisfied with that and i blended that i added on that line and i blended it very very well and i i really love this nose like but <laughs> it's my second favorite <laughs> but yeah i like what i did with this nose so so much let me know if you like the design just let me know and also let me know which one you'd love to rock because i know different people have different preferences me i love the second one i did some people might prefer this one and some people might prefer the first one so just let me know which one you would actually prefer or which one you would like to recreate or like to rock then i went in with tiny tiny white lines on the deep pink side because i felt like those tiny lines inside were like fading but like that's a really really nice effect because when you see the nails in physical you're like wow so i just wanted to make these lines more obvious but i'm still going to layer these nails again <laughs> with another with my um with my second whitish pink i mixed it with i mixed it with white so yes but before that i layered it with another coat of deep pink just to make all those cracks inside of the stone and i went in again everywhere this time i went in everywhere then i used my a stone to blend it out and i started stay seeing like oh this is beautiful like the new stay giving <laughs> i blended it out and i think it was so so beautiful also remember that i'm curing in between like <laughs> i'm putting it in my lap and curing in between i'm not just going in like everything on top of each other no and this vid this <laughs> and this nails like it actually took a lot of time but for the sake of the video and all i had to like make it make the speed so fast so that anyway so i went with tiny tiny white and pink lines and i did that inside this if you look inside the nails you'll be able to 
Mm, no, no, this nose is fine. Then, uh -huh, and then I went in with my sheer light pink to just layer everything. So it's kind of toned down that deep pink, but not so much. But you can see what it's doing, and uh, I love this nose. Then I went to with gold. I was at first I was really really not sure about this gold, but something was just like yeah, add it, and I added it, and I loved it. <laughs> like it's really really changed it. Like the gold tiny lines just. Mm, no 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 like do you actually need to see this nose for real I just made it so so beautiful so there are actually other ways on doing rose cords like there are a lot of method this is just what i just felt like doing i even did some earlier like different different methods but i didn't record myself so i decided to do another one again and i hope you guys really love the video i hope you guys love the design and right now i just cleaned my nails with wipes and i want to apply my top coat here i was even confused should i do matte should i do glossy <laughs> but i just decided to go with glossy because marble is always beautiful with um glossy top coat so i decided to do that mm, and the nails it came out so so beautiful but like i said the middle one is my favorite i love it so so much like i'm going to make this for myself the middle one but like in a shorter length yep that's what i'm gonna do <laughs> then that's it guys for this video thanks so much for taking out your time to watch this if you actually got to this part of this video i'm saying thanks from the bottom of my heart and if you're trying to recreate this video i hope you actually do it very 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 well and it comes out so pretty you can reconnect to me on my instagram and tiktok bye guys